Hi, Ben Forter here from Adobe's Platform Evangelism team. And I want to talk to you about a very interesting Cold Fusion 9 feature. And this one's interesting because it actually impacts everything other than Cold Fusion. And let me explain. Uh, when you install Cold Fusion, um, you're installing a lot of stuff. It's you know, hundreds of meg of things gets installed on the server. And for most Cold Fusion developers, when they think of Cold Fusion, they think it's the language, right? There are tags, CF mail, CF set, CF if, and so on. Um, what a lot of people don't realize is that tags are actually a really small part of what makes Cold Fusion Cold Fusion, right? The, it's a language. It's, it's a parser and it's a compiler. The vast majority of what gets installed are all sorts of pre-written services and engines that do all the heavy lifting. For example, um, if you call the Cold Fusion CF charts tag, um, it's a simple tag. But what makes that work is a large pre-written Java charting service that's baked into Cold Fusion already. Um, if you use the CF PDF tag um, to manipulate PDF files and merge and flatten and so on, the reason that works is there's a whole lot of Java PDF code written for you inside of Cold Fusion itself. Uh, same thing for the new CF spreadsheet tag inside Cold Fusion 9 and more. These are all core functions inside Cold Fusion, lots and lots of pre-written code exposed through services. So this, this raises an interesting question. If Cold Fusion is all these interesting services exposed through tags, is there a way to expose them outside of Cold Fusion? You know, if your Java or PHP developer needs to manipulate a PDF file, why can't they call the Cold Fusion's PDF service? Right? If a .NET developer uh, wants to use the mail or LDAP functionality inside Cold Fusion running in the same organization, why should they not be able to do so? For that matter, what if you're a Flex developer? Right? So simple example. Uh, you're a Flex developer, and you need to generate an email programmatically. So the Flash player has no built-in way to generate email. Right? It doesn't know what an SMTP server is. And so typically, the way you would solve that problem is you capture your information about the email, and then you write some code on the server, and you send the, e the data over to the server, and the server then generates the email request and sends off the email for you. Um, if you're a Cold Fusion developer building a Flex or Flash Builder application, the way you do that is you build a Cold Fusion component, and you're taking code, uh, taking email information from Flash Player on the client, sending it over to the Cold Fusion component, which in turn is all is just calling a CF mail tag and passing it to the SMTP server. So you're writing code on the server just to be able to pass code, pass data through from the client over to a mail server. What if you could eliminate that step? What if you could bypass having to write code on the server at all and let Flex invoke Cold Fusion's mail services directly? This is an interesting idea, uh, and it's now doable in Cold Fusion 9. In Cold Fusion 9, we've introduced a new feature where Cold Fusion core services are exposed to the outside world of services using either SOAP web services or AMF flash remoting. So a developer can, in fact, make a web services request and ask Cold Fusion to do some PDF processing and get results back again. And it makes no difference where that request originates. It could be another Cold Fusion server, could be Java, PHP, anything at all. Uh, and then using AMF, you can do the same on the Flex side. Now, there is a security model around this, so you can control who can call what services and what IP addresses have access to them, and that's beyond the scope of what we're discussing today. But I thought I should show you a very quick example of how this works from a Flex perspective. So building an application in, in Flex Builder or Flash Builder, an application that needs to generate an email, what it would take to be able to have Cold Fusion on the server generate that email for you without having to write any code on the server at all. So over here, I'm running, uh, this is a Flex application. Let me open some source over here. And it's a really simple app. Um, you'll see it's a uh, simple screen just asking for information that you need for an email message, right? To, from, you go into design view, you can see it. Really simple, to, from, subject, body, and type in a message and hit send when you're done. That's really simple. Now, let's look at the project itself for a second. You'll see in the project, I've got reference libraries. And over here, it's referring to something called cfservices.swick. This SWIC is a component, a Flash component, that comes with Cold Fusion. And if you look inside it, you'll see it exposes a Cold Fusion service, and all these MXML tags are exposed, LDAP, image, and so on. And so th now that this SWIC, this component, has been included into the Flash project, the Flex project, I can now use this, these tags um, inside of my code. Here in the code, you'll see we're including a namespace, cf equals coldfusion.service.mxml. This is the referring to the MXML in the SWIC I just showed you. And here's a CF mail tag. Now, CF colon mail, this is not CF mail. This is calling a mail tag in the Cold Fusion namespace. And this corresponds to the CF mail tag on the server. And you'll see that I've got two from subject, the same attributes you'd expect in the Cold Fusion mail tag. But here they are in flex on the client. Now, to actually send the mail, here's the button at the bottom. This is really simple. Click equals CF mail dot 
And notice how it pops up and gives me all of the attributes you'd expect. BCC, from, to, but the one I really want is, is execute. Execute over here. CFmail.execute and save. And that's it. Now, if you run this application, fill in the fields, when it calls the CFmail execute, this data is sent via AMF, via flash remoting, over to the mail, exposed mail service on the ColdFusion server, which in turn uses the underlying CF mail to generate the mail for you, and you do this without writing any code on the server at all. And this works for mail, this works for charting, for PDF, for LDAP, for other things as well. And this is a really interesting way to start using uh, the incredible investment you've made in ColdFusion in very interesting ways, ways that impact non-ColdFusion developers, but are particularly useful for Flex and their developers who are using ColdFusion as the backends. Uh, this is just one of many new interesting features in ColdFusion 9. To learn more, visit the ColdFusion Developer Center on the Adobe Developer Connection. Thank you.